Hey folks, this is Adria, and today I'm going to talk about how to do updates on the Nexus S and how it's a little bit different than the iPhone, right? I've had an iPhone for like a year and a half, two years, but it's the Nexus S, which I love. Okay, so now with iTunes, right, as kind of your main hub for finding apps, or maybe you do it from your iPhone, but they all sync up to this application on your computer. Not so with the Android stuff. This Android Marketplace, it's on your phone, right? So if I head on over here, then you can kind of see, we'll just wait for it to kind of see my Android Marketplace. So if you go in there, then you can see I'm already downloading uh, some different updating some apps. But anyway, it is nice. It'll just give you like this little notice on top saying, hey, there's some apps that need to be updated. Do you want to update them? I'm like, that is so nice. It's not like, um, I feel like the iPhone's kind of like in your face and it's always giving you this guilt trip. There are 39 apps. You see at number 39, and then number's like 58, right? And then it's like 62 and you're like, Man, you just know one of my clients, he had 99, a little 99 on there. I'm like, really? Don't you think you should like pull some of those off? Anyway, now it's, it may be a little confusing if you're new to the Android like I was. You know, I just got this in December. But if you look down here, there's this little um, thing, the little lines, and it says manage apps. So when I first tried to do updates, I went there and I'm like, there are my apps. And you can see which ones have been downloaded. So I thought, oh, maybe if I click there. And then I'll click here, but it only says sort by size. Well, that's not going to get me any updates. And all, you know, that wasn't getting me any closer. Uh, USB storage, no running. So I was a little confused. So that's why I'm saying you actually have to go over to the marketplace. Boom. And in this case, it's already showing them, but you could also go um, here. We have settings, you know, different things, notification. Let me go back. Okay, so here's your marketplace, right? And then if you go down here, then that's where you hit my apps. Hopefully it's, there we go. Nope, I just hit info by accident. Nope, my apps. And that is where you then see the screen, which I've obviously, it's gonna say force quit, not working. Oh no, it's working, great. Now the other thing I noticed is too with um, this, you can go ahead and tell um, the Android to just update whenever there are updates or you can manually approve the updates. So like, let's do, I don't know. Oh, here we go. McAfee Wave Secure, which is, will help me find my Nexus Fs if someone decides to steal it like they did with my iPhone 3GS. Anyway. Okay. So I clicked Wave Secure and now it's going to bring up this page and it seems that I can then click this box. I wish I could just click all the boxes and say, yes, let all of them update. Kind of weird. So, um, but that's what McAfee Wave Secure does. I pay 20 bucks. So it's 20 bucks a year. Totally worth it because I am tired of losing uh, my smart. Okay, I lost one smartphone, but it, it was very traumatic. So I'm going to click this box, which says, let my app update automatically. And then I'm going to say update. And then it's going to have this other little box. Uh, and then I have to hit OK. And then it's going to say, oh, I don't know. It always says it's going to replace the program, but my data will be OK. Boom. Now you can see here, I can also just do update all. And then it's going to go through. Boom, 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 boom. And you see it's just doing updates. Now it was funny if you read, um, actually you see I've quite, actually I've quite a lot, but I was saving these for you guys. I wanted to make sure you guys could see, and most of these are installed down here. Let's go up here, but see where they're red. Those need to be updated. I was saving them for you guys. So you see things I have like Skype on here, Fring. I haven't really used Fring. Smooth Calendar, Dropbox. A lot of these apps you guys recommended to me when I um, did the blog post saying, what are the 10 apps I should put on here? Now, unfortunately, I actually have like 80 apps on here. So it's a little embarrassing. And yes, for those of you who have seen my Android in person, you know it runs kind of slow. I'm working on it, okay? Anyway, so that wraps up. Uh, how to update your um, Android uh, apps on your smartphone um, in terms of being different. The biggest thing is you don't have a desktop client in which to manage things from. So you have to do it through the My Apps. But there is this other application which talks to your phone uh, and it is called. And so I've used it because you can also publish a, the list of apps that are installed on your, um, your phone, which is nice. So people don't have to go, what do you have on your phone? What do you have on your phone? I also have logged me in on here, which is great, so I can remotely connect to my computers. Um, oh, the one I was talking about, um, which is like a third-party um, integration, is this AppBrain Marketplace. All right, so if we hit that. And yes, as soon as I figure out, oh, that is obviously not the right program. There we go, AppBrain. Um, once I figure out how to do a stream, recording stream from 
the um, Android, I will do that. So you can see I can do manage and sync, browse apps, explore users. So as I become friends with people, so manage and sync apps. And then this is publicly available or you can hide it if you want. Um, you can also mark things to be deleted. So you see I have on here, Radio, um, I don't know, oh, Craigslist. I put some WordPress stuff on here. Um, I tried Beat Tracker. That was like to see, check your heartbeat. It doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> Boingo, you saw I got my Boingo Wi-Fi. So I'm at the airport. A ton of different things. These, this movie thing is like, uh, I think, is that Netflix? No, no, that shows movies uh, locally. Ton of good stuff on here. I have not used the quick uh, streaming app, VLC Remote, so I can control my Dell. Google Sky Map, totally awesome. Foursquare, have not really used it because I like to stay. Oh, and Whoopee Cushion, which the, the um, girls, Tammy's uh, girls, loved it when I was in uh, Birmingham. And I'll give you a little treat, even though it's completely not related to updating your apps. All right, so it's called Whoopee Cushion. And it says, like, caution and warning, right? Um, anyway, so I'll go ahead and start it. And you can just make it fart. Or it has the option, you can set it up and then leave it. And then when someone, um, the, the camera detects emotion, then it'll go off, making it look like they farted even more. Anyway, the girls just loved it. And then they were like, that's how daddy sounds. Oh my God. Anyway, okay, that wraps up my, uh, my share about um, updating apps on uh, the Nexus S. Take care.